tip number two, confidence. What's going on guys? We're back with another episode. Tip number two, confidence on how to become better. And this tip I feel like is so important and so overlooked. Now a lot of pros used to talk about this all the time. A lot of you guys know delusional confidence or confidence, whatever you want to call it. And this thing is such a big factor. When you go into the game, you want to have confidence. You want to feel confident that you are going to dominate, that you are going to win, that you have the ability to destroy. That is a factor. I feel like like there's times in the past in events and in, in online, whatever it is, that I went into the game feeling less confident than I usually do. And I end up either playing bad or not playing at my potential. Now, if you go into the game where you're confident, you know, you don't care who the fuck you're playing. You don't care if you're playing pros. You don't care if you're playing the best team in the game. You don't care about anything. You're just confident. You're ready. You know you're, you know you're good. You know you have the ability to destroy. You know you have the ability to win. Therefore, you put your mind to it. You, you don't care about who you're playing or what the stake is, but you're confident. You're ready. And you go into that game. 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, you dominate. You destroy. You know why? Because it's a mentality. You can't expect to go into the game and be like, hey, if I, I, like, I'm going to try my best, but this team's pretty good, or they're the best team in the, in the game, so I don't know how it's going to go, or whatever it is. Like, it's just not a winning mentality. Like, delusional confidence is so important. It's like... It's like a good example is when somebody challenges something he shouldn't have. Like you watch your, let's say you're watching a live stream, right? And some kid is one shot in the corner. But in his mind, he's like, okay, I'm gonna get rushed. I have to challenge this guy. I'm just gonna go for it. If it works, it works. That's confidence. The guy goes for it, ends up world starring or outgunning the guy who had a one shot. And the guy's like, dude, why did he challenge that? Well, he's so stupid. And it's like, it's not even that. He was just confident and he knew he had to make a play within the time. Because if not, he would have been dead for sure. So it's like, it's like stuff like that. Like you have to be confident in yourself that you know you can win. That you know you have good gun skill. Like you can't hesitate. Like confidence is a lot about hesitation too. When, you, when you're going to do something in the game. Well, let's say rotations, uh, getting a kill, doing whatever it is in the game. You have to ha you have to do it quick with confidence, you know, no hesitation. Like you you see a guy, you fucking go for the outgun. Like you're not gonna start like start creeping behind a corner and like hesitate to shoot him because you think he's gonna kill you or whatever. No man, you just post yourself up good, you get a good shot in, and you kill him. Either way, guys, I think confidence is such a big thing when it comes to becoming better. And I feel it's like overlooked. I feel like a lot of people don't have confidence, you know, and I, it's understandable. Like when you get in a game with a pro players, the first thing is gonna go in your head is you're gonna be nervous, you're not gonna feel as confident. Now there's people who are confident already but most people I think most amateurs most upcoming players are gonna feel nervous are gonna feel confident but that you have to feel the opposite guys if you feel for confident if you feel in your ability that you know you're good you know you know you can win you know you can do this then therefore you are gonna play better you might not win the match hey you might go six five six four but you damn no damn sure damn no damn well you're gonna play good and I, I guarantee it okay guys now I have to hit you with the gameplay I'll be showing you guys some clips of me destroying me hitting some three pieces, four pieces, whatever it is. And you can see the confidence I have in my, in my gun skill, in my shot. I never back down. You know, I'm always consistent with it. And obviously, I do have a good shot. But nonetheless, just watch the clips. So I like to think of myself as a playmaker. I'm always the first one, guns in, blazing. Here, I know I got to break this hill. Time's ticking. I throw nades in, get a kill with it, shoot melee, nameless, head glitch and diss. I pick up the three piece. And then Mochilla picked up last kill. That's four dead. I use my RC card to push out the door. And then I weaken, I believe, Parasite or Methods. And then I just slowly pre-aim. You know, I don't want to get caught off guard and I clean him up but you guys saw I did it with confidence I went in knowing I was gonna do shit I'm getting three piece four piece whatever it, whatever it is and I did it so lately I've been feeling really confident it's obviously the more you play the better you do the more confident you're gonna build up especially in a single game here I destroy goon he doesn't needs to reload I pick up a nice two piece and I'm just feeling myself right I go out the door I spot one I'm trying to shoot him out kill him and I'm just like just keep feeling myself you know I'm outgunning people I'm, I'm confident in my shot I'm confident in my ability to fucking kill people and that's what it is, guys. You have to be so confident. You have to make sure you're obviously doing the right things, like pre-aiming, making sure you're in a good position, all those little things. But confidence is such a huge key, especially when it comes to winning gunfights and just doing good in general. Uh, this one I like to call a cocky challenge, but you have to be confident and you have to challenge it. So I immediately swoop in and I just snap on his head and I end up outgunning him. And that's a huge kill. So the main goal and story of this video is just to be confident. Being confident within yourself. Try not to get nervous, know what you're capable of, know you're, you have the ability to win and that you could do good. Now, maybe you won't feel as confident, maybe you haven't been playing good, maybe you know you gotta play better and stuff like that. And confidence is usually something you have to build, obviously. 
But the more you play, the more you practice on your individual skill, the more confidence you're going to build up. And in the end of the day, just have delusional confidence. Even if you don't feel that confidence within yourself, have delusional confidence. Delusional confidence is almost the same thing, but obviously you're kind of delusional. But even then, it will help you a little bit. It does exist. You will make plays, you will make things happen, and you will play better, even with delusional confidence. And that's a fact, and it's proven. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the clips. The whole point of this video, like I said, is just have confidence in whatever you do. And just like Killer would say, delusional confidence is a key. It is a factor. And this is not, I'm not making this, sh this stuff up, guys. Like, this is serious. Like, I'm actually giving you tips on how to become better that does not involve gun skill. Like, these are factors in just a whole different category. And I feel like these stuff are very important. And I myself have been through a lot of these things. And I know that it actually works. So either way, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to share the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You guys have been an awesome audience, and I'm out. Have a good day.